It's time to make your great escape And heaven knows you need a break Forget your duties, forget your cares It's good to get away Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Augusta Outdoors. Most people know that Waynesboro, Georgia is the bird dog capital of the world and we are just outside of town today at Dylane Plantation. And we're gonna be visiting with Steve Kyles who is the Georgia Department of Natural Resources Manager of the Dylane Wildlife Management Area. And he's going to show us a little bit of bird dog and quail hunting history today, in particular, a bird dog cemetery that I think you will enjoy. Steve, tell us a little bit about this property, and one thing I was curious about is why do they call it Dylane Plantation? Well, it, it uh, actually got its name from a man named Henry Barrel. Who, uh, Mr. Barrel was from the Barrel Pencil Company, which a lot of folks have heard of, Eagle Pencil, uh, from New York. He was looking for a place to do field trials, and uh, he bought this piece of property down here. It was the Kilpatrick and Davis Plantations at one time. He combined both of them. Uh, as, as of right now, it's 8,100 acres, but at one time it was over 13,000. It's got, it got pared down, and, uh, and there are a lot of folks want to know how he got the name Dylan. Well, the name Dylan, he's, he had two daughters. And the daughters' names were Diane and Elaine. And so he took the first part of Diane's name and you know, the first part of Elaine's and put it as Dylan, or last part of Elaine's and put it okay. as Dylan. And he, he was a um, big hunter, loved bird dogs. Yes, he loved bird dogs. Uh, uh, he was really big in the Field Trial Association, Georgia Field Trial Association. He was also in the big National Field Trial Association. He was all into that too. He's got several bird dogs in the Hall of Fame, Bird Dog Hall of Fame. Okay. And uh, he loved his dog so much that uh, he actually put his dogs in the graveyard right here. This is an interesting yeah. cemetery back here, oh, yeah. and each one has a different name. And how many dogs did they keep down here? Uh, at one time, he had a hundred dog kennel right over here. A hundred dogs in one place? A hundred dogs in one place. How he many also, people yeah, had to take care of them? He had seven, I know of at least seven handlers. Okay. Because he built seven houses on this place just for the handlers to stay in. That's a lot of dog food. Yeah, but the thing of it was, is he also had a woman hired. She lived in a house right on the other side of the kennels. And uh, her full-time job was to cook for the dogs. Not bag dog food, but no, to actually no. cook home cooked meals? Yes, a hamburger, steak, and pork. Wow. And that was her full time job, was to cook for those dogs. What breeds are mostly buried here? Mostly what's in here is uh, English pointers. Uh, there are some English setters. There is a cocker spaniel that was a family pet. Uh, there are a couple of cats. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go take a look at some of the stones. Okay. Okay. Steve, there's a lot of interesting epitaphs on some of these these tombstones. This one, Pepino Tapscott, goes back to 1938. Is that one of the older ones? That's one of the older ones. I think there's one in here that's a little bit older than that, like in the earlier 30s, but that's yeah. that's that's one of the one of the uh, And there's ones. there's Flappy, Sundot, Riot, Patsy, yeah. and uh, uh, Mr. Chips. That one was a champion. Field that trial champion, one. yeah. They called him Chippy. And I guess in looking at some of these epitaphs, uh, this might have been bird dog heaven, but uh, they had some problems. There's two that are poisoned. Right. And it looks like PD's repeat was stung to death by wasps. Right. Wow. Well, Steve, thank you so much for the tour. Oh, you're quite welcome. Always a very fascinating place oh, yeah. to visit. And hopefully we'll get to come back sometime. Yeah, anytime. Uh, you know, tell your friends if they want to come. Tell them to come on down here. I will do it. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and if you liked what you saw, be sure to check us out on YouTube and subscribe if you'd like to be advised when new videos come out, and, and also please check us out on AugustaChronicle.com.